body collapsing. Did we defeat her? We did it. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We won. Thank goodness. Now the world can know peace. Don't relax just yet. Why? Will not perish. Seek a new body. Of course. What's that light, new? That's probably the true form of the deity of sin. A light? We merely destroyed her physical body. We cannot say we have succeeded unless we fell that light. Okay, how's this? My super duper fist of doom! Hiya! Fist of doom? <sighs> Did I miss? No way! It went right through! I think it was the sound effects fault. If they had the punch sound effects, they would have won, but they didn't, so... Failed. Detection, you guys. No fair. No, no, Nep. It's the sound effects that are at fault here. Calm down, Nep. There's no point in complaining. W what should we do? We can't win if we don't beat her. My body all around me. What? The light went into the ground. She, she became game industry? What? Uh-huh. Can someone explain what's happening right now? In order to win, we have to destroy the planet. Ah! A sudden quake? It's hard to stay standing. Ah! Is she fusing with the game industry graveyard itself? It would have been more interesting if it was the entire planet. Ah, well. That does not bode well. We ought to retreat and draw up a new plan. Man, it's so derpy to run away from the last boss like this. Feel free to stay behind then. We'll avenge your noble sacrifice. Ew, okay, okay, let's roll. Ew. Chapter seven, Fetal Contraction. I incorrectly assumed we could destroy the deity of sin while she was housed in her shell. Sounds to me like every call you make is the wrong one. Jeez. I have nothing to counter that accusation with. Still. This isn't the time to point fingers. Let's focus on giving constructive criticisms, shall we? Fusing with the graveyard will take some time. We should use this respite wisely. I believe I recall reading something similar to this situation. Oh, pardon me. How rude, keeping my phone on during a business meeting. Indeed. Oh, I'm getting a call too. Mato from the guild. Mato? Why, even my phone is ringing. Who would call me at such a time? Is no one here polite at all and turns off their phone or puts it on silent? And there goes mine. How unusual. Nobody ever calls me. Oh dear. But what was that? Don't joke with me about something like that. I will fry your hide with butter if you do. Fry your what? Yes, understood. Thank you for calling. Uh-huh, okay. I'll take it from here. What's up, ladies? Your dates all bail on you or something? Someone claiming to be one of the four felons has appeared in Last Station. That's happening in Louis, too. Although no battle has broken out yet. Same situation on my end. Makes sense since we all received a call at roughly the same time. Pretty much exactly the same time. Planetune's no different. So each nation has one of the four felons skulking around? Wait, why did they phone IF but not Histy? They even back. Although I suppose IF does work for Histy, so they sort of did let Histy know. Yeah, makes sense. This doesn't sound good. 
No kidding. We have to fight those idiots again, you. Indeed, new. Did they make any demands? Well. Foolish mortals! Hear the edict of our revived goddess, R4! Yay! With R4 back, decimating this nation would be simple. But there wouldn't be any fun in that. Ah, uh, he's back. So, we will give you ten days. Put your faith in R4. If even one of you does not. How do you even check something like that? <laughs> we'll kill every last one of you! Who was this guy again? Those demands are sheer insanity. Ew! Do we have to fight that fat pervy robot again? Yep. We do. Indeed. Breathe. How could you? We gotta do something. Let's go punch a few new holes in him, my loyal wifey brigade. Sounds good to me. I'm not gonna let them take my home away from me again. Calm down. If they plan to keep their word, we have ten days. Will that be enough time to come up with a plan? Ah, oh, yes, now I remember. What? Whoa, Mina! Don't shout all of a sudden. It's really weird. Sorry. I just remembered what I had read, and I couldn't believe that I would forget about it. Out with it already. There was a document that mentioned a battle between an ancient CPU and the deity of sin. I believe she was known as Uranus. Of course. I recall that name as well. She was a CPU from the past that resided over Planetune, correct? Must be. And there are no other previous CPUs at all. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Say no more. Yes, that's what the document said. If we ask her for help, do you think she'd give us a hint on how to stop the deity of sin? If she's still alive, you mean? I doubt that even a CPU can live forever. But if the deity of sin isn't an exception, the CPU may still exist in spirit, without a physical body. Let's figure it out, my sleuthing buddies. Not like twiddling our thumbs is helping anything. If she was a Planetune CPU, we might be able to find her quick. Let's move, everyone! There's gonna be chirpers. There's chirpers. There's lots of chirpers. Let's start in Louise, seeing as we're closest. Dodie! Currently on vacation. Time for us mayors to relax while the princess is gone. You mean kidnapped. If only those brothers wouldn't save her, we could rest longer. What? I'm not involved in her abductions! No! Aha, uh -huh. I think we learned something about Toadie. This is what ninjas do best! I finally got that RPG I've been waiting for. But what's with the boat? It's not coming. Is this intentional? So lame. I wonder what that's referring to. Alright! Oh, Stella's just... Nah, we'll just leave Stella alone now. Ram! Hmm. I don't get it at all. What don't you get? Hmm, grrr. I can't figure it out. What seems to be the matter? You've been howling and growling for quite some time now. It's disrupting my reading. Plan, Mina, can you help me? I can't figure something out. Oh? Gotta fade out and fade in. I see, uh huh, okay. This is gonna be doing with Ram's sort of jealousy, is the best way to put it. Of Nepgear, really. Well, it's not of Nepgear, you know what I mean. It's weird, right? How to say this tactfully. Lady Blonde, your little sister has become the spitting image of you. I don't get what you mean. Ah, and don't worry about it. Stop ignoring me! Jeez! I had to put it simply, Ram. What you feel is jealousy. What? Jelly? To Nepgear? Why? Because she stole Ram away? So many questions, all wrong. 
Am I jealous because Nipgear pays attention to Rom and not me? No, that's totally not it. She's only ever called Rom's name since we first met and stuff. Yes, that is true. And when Rom was sick and stuff, Nipgear did everything to help her and not me. I'm, I'm confused who's saying what now, by the way, if you haven't noticed. Is that what bothers you? Like I said, she doesn't pay attention to you and it makes you mad. Yuck. Is that really it? Please try and calm down and ask yourself how you feel. Hmm, so like, what do I do now? Why not go over to Nipgear and ask her if you can play? Do! But I like Rom Benner. She's my only friend, so... That's fine, she should be your best friend, since you're twins. But that doesn't mean you aren't allowed to have more than one best friend, understand? Rem, you like me and Mina, right? Just add Nepgear into the mix. Oh, okay, so Rum is my bestest friend, and Nepgear is my second best friend. Huh? Heavens. Thanks, sis, and you too, Mina. I'm gonna go play now. Oh dear, oh dear. Such a child to be worrying over something like that. Both of them were born into a pretty isolated world. They were happy when it was just the two of them. Yes, and I suppose Nipgear has come and expanded their world. Still, as their sister, I should thank her, and yet, I'm always, I always thought I was her second best friend. Oh dear, both of them. Jeez. Rum, Nipgear, play with me. Huh? Ram? What the goodness has gotten into you all of a sudden? Nothing. Oh, we got love hearts. I just realized I love you both. Aww, it's so sweet. Lily rank between Nepgear and Rom has increased. And Nepgear and Ram. I don't know how Rom got involved in the Lily ranks, but alright. Very well. Mommy, here's a present for you. Ooh, thank you. Nah. Nah. I don't want it. Take it back. Green is a poor man's colour. But it seems like priestesses favour this colour. So why am I like this? I, I don't know. Why are you like this? I went to a game tournament with my child. The staff barred our entry. No hacked game saves allowed, they said. Those fools. I'm going to complain to the tournament officials. Who will say exactly the same thing because they're the officials they set up the rules. But alright. Looks like awful revived. Everything is going to be destroyed. There goes the super safe little home I had. Oh dear, oh dear. Mzuo. See how different my thinking is compared to the CPUs. Forcing laws which prevent the use of pirating devices. Is this the right approach? It doesn't solve. It doesn't solve heart of the issue. You need another there in there, mate. Doesn't solve the heart of the issue. Still doesn't really work, does it? I want to go to an audition. But with half or reviving. Well, it's just scary just stepping outside. Well, there we go. Up to the station! Information Uni! I better clean my firearms. So. How did this go together? Maybe you should ask Nepgear, she can help. Hmm, I know this went here, but oh, I shouldn't have dismantled this thing. What's wrong, Uni? Speaking of the devil. Hush, I'm trying to concentrate. As you can see, I'm cleaning my firearm collection. Oops, sorry. Eek! I can't do the eek. Just no, no. My throat won't take it. Holy crap, don't squeal like that. You made me drop all my parts. Don't move a muscle, Uni. You need to grease that part better, or the chamber won't slide smoothly. Huh. Oh, yeah, you're right. Silly me, I guess. Where's my basic can of oil? No, 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 goodness, you can't use synthetic oil on an antique 576. You must watch what... You must watch. You must match what was used back then. Do I? This is all I have, though. One second, I'll go get you the perfect can of oil. Okay. Thanks. Two days later. Not three. Two. Alright, we're done. We ended up doing everything. Golly, it sure is pretty. The simplicity of a revolving cylinder really gets me going. Oh, you're into this type of thing? 
Automatic weapons are useful in a utilitarian sense, but single action guns are slick, neat, and stylish. Uh huh, but hang on. The guy with this trigger isn't like what I've seen in my books. Uh huh, so you notice? That's a custom part. I had a professional gunsmith down in Leanbox craft me a new trigger that would best work with my tiny hands. Wow, that is so nifty. But if you use such a cool weapon, you should learn how to maintain it properly, okay? After all, it'd be a shame if it broke because it wasn't cared for in the right way. Yeah, you're right. I should read up on it more. I'd love for us to test fire it, but it'd be a waste to wear that barrel from something like that. I know. This one's mainly a display piece after all. Actually, most of my collection are display pieces. Wait, you have more? Um, 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 please let me see them all. Uh, sure, but they're all the way in my room and that's like over there, so... I won't track any mud in, I swear. Oh, if you let me examine them, I'll do maintenance on every single one. That's not a bad deal, actually. Uh, wait, you just want to fund my weapon collection, don't you? Um, no comment. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Ah, whatever. I'll show them to you, but not today. My room's a mess. You promise? Yay! Listen up, in exchange for my kind offer, you need to teach me how to properly clean them. Understood? You got it. We get the idea. Yep, I wanted to go to the shop. Yep, definitely. Welcome! Okay, I need to get writing. Get on it then! Writing another book? Yeah, I figured it'd be best to jot down my memories while they're fresh. While oh, they're fresh? No way! Does that mean? Yep, I'm considering publishing a book about the journey we're on right now. Good golly! Good golly! Alright, good golly! That means the character based on me will be in your book! Wow, that's fabulous! In, is appearing in my book really that exciting? It is. I'm so, 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 so honored. <laughs> Thanks. It's not official yet. I'm not sure it'd be okay to use the CPU's names in my book. Oh, I bet that won't be a problem. Blan would be ecstatic. You sure about that? I'm still going to ask them for a formal go-ahead. Uh, then I approve them all right now. There's no problem using me, my, my, my or Neptune's or anyone else's name in your box. Saves me the trouble of asking them, but are you really sure about this? You're not acting quite like you. Maybe I'm a tad overzealous. A anyway, let us know when it's published. I'll buy like a dozen copies myself. No, no, that's really not necessary. It's kind of weird. If you want, I'll give you copies of the first print run for free. What? Goodness, that's wonderful, but I feel bad taking a handout. Don't feel bad about that. You're the main character in this book's adventure, after all. What? I'm the main character? What? Not Adele? Nope, this time around, you get the spotlight. Nobody would disagree with that choice. Adele was a sub-character. I'm the main character of an Adele Christine novel? I have a lot of personality. Does she? I mean... So it's pretty easy to keep my pen flowing. I hope we get a happy ending, though. Yeah, we don't want a sort of conquest ending, do we? Wow, that puts the pressure on me to perform, huh? People get angry if I end up doing something bad. <laughs> if you don't want that, try your best to make it a happy ending when nobody dies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I'll do my best. Do 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 do. Falcom again. Re record or record? Record of Christine's Odyssey. I should read it myself sometime. I wonder how those two brothers have been doing. Which two brothers? Wow, Falcom's books are so fun to read. I think I'm addicted to them. The story is good, but the best parts are the character interactions. Based on real people, I think. Especially Falcom's, I mean, Adele's traveling companion, Doggy. I bet Doggy really loves Adele. But I guess Falc Adele doesn't notice anything. Jeez, it's a little bit frustrating, honestly. Doggy sounds really sweet. Has such a fun personality. Why doesn't Adele notice anything? Gisty is kind of adorable too. Shy and quiet, but always broke because of her extravagant fairy friend. 
It's fascinating how much personality she has. I'd love to meet her. I think she has a schoolgirl crush on Adele, since she keeps such a close eye on her. That Falcom, I mean Adele. She sure seems like a hot commodity. Oh, a new character introduction. The elder of the two sculpted brothers introduced himself as Sonsam, while the younger brother asked to be called Onad. Onad. The two half-naked, what? Two half-naked men strutted up to Adele, flexing their lean, trim muscles. Lies, call me Emerus. <laughs> The outburst confused Adele. What? Why are such wacky characters randomly appearing at this point? Oh goodness, now I need to learn who those will willed willed weird gentlemen are. I should sleep, but I can't stop. Sixty-two days later. Oh, we didn't find out what happened. <gasps> My god. Welcome! This happened long ago, but I was climbing up this insanely tall tower. And I stepped on a trap switch. It sent me back to the bottom. Oh, I hate stuff like that. Sabi connect to No despair allowed. Uh, okay. Fair enough. Say that to Monokuma. What's this reaction? Is Arcana calling for me? She might be, I assume it's a she. I went hunting the other day. A monster dropped this item. I wonder what it is. Well you can have it. You wonder what it is, but you just give it straight to me. Oh, underground, right? Yep, yep, yep. ASIC is evil. I look forward to the strict rules against them. Well, the will be coming. It's been a while. You look good, as usual. Hi, hi, thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy holidays. No, that was a few days ago, mate. Snake hater. This is hater. Infiltration complete, awaiting orders. What? Asics hideout. Very well. Leave it to me. Off he goes. Hey, hi. What? DRM? The heck is that? Well, not that it makes any difference to me. Sucks for the chumps who don't know how to work around it. Yeah, that's always the case. We always have to work around DRM. Always gets in the way. Even if you buy it legally, it gets in the way. Who cares about Asics? I'll still publish my mag, no matter what happens. That should give the CPUs power, right? Do your best, CPUs. Yeah, it would help. Glad to hear the CPUs all got rescued. Hopefully peace will come sooner than later. I'd have put rather than later, but alright. It's tough writing multiple articles each day. But I don't need any help. I have to remember there's a character limit on Chirper. Right, so... Chirpy chirp chirps. Yippee! I'm in first place on the CD rankings chart. This is all because of you. Me? Keep training for me, you hear? I knew I could help her. R4 revived? It, is there anything I can do? Um, um, where's my weapon? In your hand. There's no way I can fight with this low tier gear. I want the power to fight off or two. I'd actually like to see a spin-off game with Newbie Hunter. I may actually find out what happens. Would be interesting. The DNT of Sin is trying to destroy the world. Uh, well then. I'll fire my P2 cannon at it. Charging. Charging. Okay. Ready. Come on, Deity of Sin. I'm ready for you. Wait, you're not gonna fire it? All right, we'll try the game in District Graveyard first. I shall follow my lovely Bert anywhere. We know, Chica. We know. Shake it, go. So sleepy. People can't fight sleep. All problems come from sleep. Good night. I completely agree. Back in the days when there were no broadband networks, connecting with dial-up was done primarily in the Wii. Not many people know that, I reckon. It's best the world doesn't have R4. It's interesting to see how each of the nations are fighting back. Indeed. Dangly! There's the stone. Friends in stone. Zzz. Zzz. 
Thrones. Shiitake. Negative. Ions. Very well. Alright, theme box. That. The day has come. I have been waiting all week. I hope it arrives soon. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Why is Vert making so many weird sounds? She looks really uneasy. What was that noise? Oh my dearest Vert, it has arrived! Aye, it's finally here. Hurry, please, bring it to me. Of course, please open it. I plan to. Uh, they wrapped it quite sturdily in this awful clamshell packaging. Get some scissors. Please wait a moment. I will get some scissors. Yeah, yeah. To aid in ripping in ripping it apart. No, you cut it. You, you don't have to stab it and then, like, rip at it with the scissors. You just cut it. I haven't the time to wait for such luxuries. Yeah! Dramatic tearing ensues. She was waiting for this package, but... Why are you both so excited? Gasp! Are you curious? Oh god, Nepgear, run! I see, so she's interested as well. Run, Nepgear, run! Well, of course I'm a tad curious, you fool. But now I'm a little scared. Hmm, if you insist, perhaps I will show you a little bit. <laughs> Get ready for a surprise! Normally, I tire of Vert's obsession, but this one managed to capture even my attention. Okay? Come witness and believe. Right, let's see here. Is this a PC game? C goodness, oh jeez! Why are all these men naked? There's so many of them! The nude male figure is normal, no? That's not the draw here. What really matters is that they're all butlers. Yes, a whole new genre of gaming, the Naked Butler Harem, Her Harem, Har Harum, you know the word. But I don't care what their professions are, don't show me this creepy stuff. Oh dear, how unrefined of you, to be unable to appreciate such a magnificent advance in gaming. I agree, it seems we will need to keep her here and educate her on its brilliance in great detail. Run, Nepgear, run. All right, we will all play this together. Come, come. Resistance is futile. Sit. No, let me go. No. Uh, uh. Hmm, how was it? Well, uh, how do I say it? I haven't felt so good in ages. Thank you very much for the lesson. No thanks are necessary. Come back whenever you crave another dose of naked butlers. Yes, absolutely. Farewell for now. I need to share my bliss with Neptune. Naked, nudie, dangly, la- dangly! La la la! Oh dear, she's been brainwashed. Her education is complete. Yes, another butler lover is born. She has joined our sacred sisterhood. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, Nepgear. Information! That! My favorite game? Hmm, I like console games, PC games, arcade games, board games, simulators, fantasy, sports, rhythm. Anything that can be classified as a game, I love. Cave. Hmm. What did Nepgear and the others think of me? Hmm. Good morning, Cave. Ah, salutations. What happened? You're saying? I am in a spot of trouble, even though it is a rather ridiculous subject. But I must ask, do you enjoy my company? Enjoy? Well, if I had to describe it, I'd say being around you helps me to feel more relaxed or something. Is that so? Well, it may be odd for me to say, I understand that I can be seen as boring and rather cold. Sometimes you have pretty cute reactions that are fun to watch. Do not say such things. S sorry, in any case, I would never describe you as being cold. Trudy? Yes, truly. You have a lovely smile, you know? My smile? Yes, you've been smiling more and more lately. I'm happy about that. Me? Smiling? I don't think I have been. Does that really surprise you? You're always smiling around 5pb. I am always smiling. Yeah, you really are. I was not aware that 
I was smiling. Whenever I participated, participated, practiced my expressions, participated, I could never smile in the mirror. Is that what was troubling you? Who was concerned about that? I believe I said this was a ridiculous subject. Still, I suppose I should at least thank you and 5PB from the bottom of my heart. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't catch that. It was of no importance. Let us say that I am glad we have become allies. Sh sure. So, was she really depressed or not? She started beaming all of a sudden. What just happened? You said the exact right things, Nepgear. That's what happened. Well done. Cave. Nobody's here. Fidget, fidget. Or is it Fijay? Hmm, is that Cave? Hey, Cave! <whistles> Cough, hack. Goodness, are you okay? Uh, nothing is amiss. Your sudden approach startled me. What's on your face? Were you eating? Let me see. You entered the shop. Ah. A super sweet lo lo local, I was going to say, local product. The Queen Bee Crepe. Crepe. Whatever the two. You know. Looks yummy. I want one too. It does not befit my character, does it? Hmm? What do you mean by that? A woman of such rigidity should not enjoy these kinds of sugary provisions. You can do whatever you want. You're a cute girl, after all, and cute girls are allowed to like cute things. I must beg of you to refrain from using terms such as cute. Here, you've got cream in your mouth. Let me wipe it off for you, silly. A, a, a necessary concern. It is a task I can complete on my own. Wow, you're blushing. You really are cute, Cave. I just asked you to... Never mind. Ahem. <clears throat> Swear your secrecy to me. Tell not a single soul of this. Why can't I? I don't think it'd be a problem if they learned a little about you. Well, this is an embarrassing truth. Anyway, we have made an oath. Have we? What? When? Gee, she doesn't have to be so shy. I guess Cave has a really cute side to her, too. The amount of times I actually coughed during that scene, by the way. I've had to edit a few things out during that. Properly tickly throat right now. Very weird. Anyway, information cave. My weapon. I received it from a friend while living in Gilvardo. Gilvardo? It's lightweight and easy to use. I prefer nothing more. Perfect bit. Lady Vert is very popular. ASIC can do their worst. Because as long as Lady Vert is present in Needbox, everything will be A OK. Would it though? Oh, Lady Vert, going out? Yes, I thought I would take a walk to see how things have changed these past three years. But isn't it dangerous to go out in the public with an, without an armed escort? It is perfectly fine, believe me. Official duties are always performed in HDD. Nobody knows me in this form. S still, um, I'll join you. My, my, the city is more lively than I thought it would be. Chica has outdone herself yet again. Perhaps we should visit the suburbs. Oh, wait, Lady Bird. Whatever is the matter? Being surrounded by a whole lot of strange people. What astute observation skills. Hmm, <laughs> whatever shall I do? I cannot hide my charisma, it seems. Uh, um, excuse me. This is just an, an inevitability. Even though I am off duty, perhaps an autograph or two is in order. You're 5 PB, right? Such a huge fan. Please, can I have an autograph? Huh? Me? Yeah, I want one too. Same here, please. I was going out of the city making all my friends listen to them repeatedly. He's got a weird voice, he has. Hold on, I can't handle this. Please stop thrusting pens at me. You could really read that wrong. Um, hello? Do none of you recognize? Move it, lady. Whoa! Oh, 5 PB. So wound. Out of Hein, 5 PB. So wound. The sweet diva, 5 PB. So wound. Whoa, please stay back. Just someone help me. I can't believe I was pushed aside as if I was some pauper. More importantly, could this girl be more popular than I am? Oh, there we go. Finally, I'm assuming that's her XE drive skill thing. 
Finally. Right, back to Leanbox. Well, information, you know what I mean. Lady Noir wants me to teach her how to play the guitar. I wonder what kind of guitar she has. Probably not anything good. Deccan! It's a present for you. Is it? Hmm, fair enough. It's not what I wanted, but it's fine, it's fine. Fighting games are perfect for me. Having a real fight with friends can be pretty sexy too. Sexy? What? Not that I've seen any of my friends since fighting them. <laughs> I'm so depressed. That's what I feel, he would say. Vestige of darkness. I am fine alone. I will take care of them. The pain. Why now? I don't go. The This world will collapse. Ramen connoisseur. I went to Louise's restaurant. Ayame. I ordered miso ramen. The bold aroma of the miso was amazing. The crumbled noodles took the soup well, making a statement. The bean spree out bean spree, bean sprout topping added the light sense of crunch. Did it now, hot blooded muck. Danger comes to game industry. I'll do what I can. Let's all fight to protect the game industry. Mikaj or Mikich, I don't know. My deadline. So sleepy. Zoom. Right, planet tune. Got chirping there. I thought so. I was like, I've got to check here first. What's the cat? Lots of strange people with masks lately, near. I saw a lot of people wearing those masks. Resting in the station, yeah. Yeah. They were demonstrating, not resting, yeah. Oh dear, oh dear. Let's get the other chirpers first. Nep as the pitcher and Noir as the catcher is good. But so is Noir as the pitcher and Nep as the catch. Oh dear. I learned that I can jump higher than my brother. Hey you! You thought that just makes my landing harder, right? Is that what you think? N no. What? No. So insecure. Alright, information, Neptune! On a CPU, does it work? Um, how about that? I don't know. Of course you don't know. Hey Neptune, I know it's a bit weird to ask this now, but I have a question. Leave it to the Million Up Quiz Champion to answer what ails ya. Um, so what exactly do the CPU's duties entail? Ah, oh, so you want to be a true blue CPU too? More like I've never seen you work, so I kind of get anxiety attacks when I think about what work we need to do. I'm a tad offended, Neptunia. I'm working hard, it's just not something you really see. I'm sorry, I'm only asking because I want to know if there's some way I can help. Alright, fine, this is important. I'll show you what a CP what us CPUs do. So burn it into your brain. First, what you see here in front of you in front of me is called a sound telegraph. A phone, got it. Yeah, whatever. If this thing makes a big ringing noise, you pick it up and say, your wish shall be granted. Neptune, you should not lie to your citizens or to Nepgear. Hi, Histoire! Don't spoil the big twist, I was going to reveal the truth in one last grand gesture. Nepgear, your first mistake is asking your older sister such a complicated question. As far as CPU role models go, Neptune is the worst of the worst. Oof, my pride's solar plexus. Maybe you're right. I should have asked you, Histoire. Oof, and the right hook. Nepgear agreeing with Histi. First, CPUs represent the nation. In other words, many existing is of the utmost importance. Existing? That sounds simple. But it also seems complicated. That has to include acting in a way that best represents your people's will, right? So hard, you need the mad skills with a Z, along with the royal DNA of kings, queens, and other made up stuff. Tune that out. Next, one must oversee the various documents and information from the nation's many cities. The CPU's final say in all legal metals. Metals? Yep, metals. So it's important to be educated in a wide variety of fields. That sounds like the paperwork I've been helping with, but I don't know enough to handle all of them. That's why you're gonna learn to learn. 
Like they say, baby girls like you have soft heads to best absorb knowledge. You must also be prepared to lead your nation's armed forces. In times of peace, the CPU acts as a guardian, but should a threat emerge, you must lead your people to victory. The third game? Alright. Right. I feel like that's mostly what I've been doing. Brains and brawn. Nobody's gonna follow a weak little baby with a soft head into battle. Of course, there exists many other duties for the CPU, but those three make up the crux of the position. Of the three I just mentioned, Neptune is only qualified to act as the military leader. Yeah, I'm only good for- Hey, Histy, don't be a jerk. What is worse is that, while captive, she was unable to perform even that one duty. Come on, I'm standing right here. In short, use Neptune as your example of what a CPU should not be, and you'll become a marvellous CPU one day. Uh, okay, I'll do my best. Histy, I'm flabbergasted to learn what you really think of me. I strongly dislike you. STRONGLY. Um, maybe you're a bit harsh? Perhaps. I do feel bad, but that is how strict one must be in order to motivate someone like Neptune. Was that your intention? I hope this will spur her on to be a more proactive... To be a more pro... Yep. To be more proactive in her duties. I don't know about that. I mean, Neptune is Neptune. We shall see. Neptune! Hey, it's Noir! Where's she going? It's a beautiful day and she's looking around a guitar case. I'll ninja her my way around and keep track of her. Crap, I lost her already. We should have not been chirping. What do you think? Oh dear. Typical Nep. I'm going to spend some time with Neptune today. Huh? Someone's here. I wonder who it could be. Ooh. I have. At the Basilicum. It's wild here today. Guess who's at fault? Nap. Alright, a successful escape. Hehe, <laughs> his tea, you're too lenient of a warlord. None can keep me locked away. That said, time to shirk all my responsibilities and play around for today. Not for today. Like usual is more accurate, right? Histy's loyal vassal. Iffy. Stop with the old timey references. Are you doing what you always do? Avoiding work? Uh, n no. Are you gonna arrest me? Are you gonna cuff me? Read my rights and rough me up a bit? Some of that is true. I have my orders from Histoire. Please let me go, Spiffy Iffy. I'll die if they keep working me like they have been. You can only say that if you've actually been working hard for a long time. Iffy, sniff, pout, look into my sad, abandoned puppy dog eyes. That's not a very effective way to convince anyone, really. Fine. You leave me no choice but to... Uh, actually, I got nothing today. Jeez, this isn't worth the headache. Fine, I'll pretend I didn't see you. Oh, really? Just this once, okay? Thanks, Ify. I love your face. Okay. I shouldn't stay here, or else I'll get dragged into your mess. I'll go kill some time elsewhere. Then why don't we just hang out? It's lame to skip work alone. I just said if I stick around with you, I'll get dragged into your mess. If you don't play with me, then I'll tell Hissy you neglected your crazy important duties to play around. You're gonna repay my favor by blackmailing me? Okay, screw this. I'm taking you to Hissy right now. Crap. No, no. I was kidding. I'm sorry. If you understand, then go and play by yourself. Snore. You're not getting my drift. I want to play with you, so let's go. Pretty please. Oh, jeez. Fine, if you're gonna be that needy. Just for today, okay? Sweet! Somehow she got everything to go her way. I have. Chainmail from Nep. How nostalgic. Maybe Nep doesn't need a phone for a few more years. Oh god, yeah. Can you imagine Nep with a phone? Compa! I hope the hospital staff is doing okay without me. Maybe I'll give them a call. Compa. Can I become a CPU too? Of course not. Huh? What was the hurt about? Hmm. Or maybe it was like a... Huh. Let me give you this! Healing drink! Cat! I don't want to dive into the dungeon so many times, Nia. This is perfect for the kind of people who do, Nia. I'll let you pay me back in a different way, Nia. That was just to change items. 
found something new. What you find new? Healing bottle new? Judy dude. Don't ban everything. Support everything. Anything. Yeah, you know. My idea is necessary. My technology can change the world. Jiba. Sometimes a man can't quit. War has changed. Something like that. Nothing someone old like me can do about it. How pathetic. Glasses girl. Got contacts. Game cute. Well, after I can get them into my eyes anyway. Oh dear. Napugia! Become one with me. Ha! Did you think I was Napugia? Too bad! It's me! Napugia is my name! I am the god of Enchan. Right then. Right, so let's go off to Lancastle, finally. It's been a long time with those chirpers. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Right, we'll make our way around to the back quickly, pick up these. Just some golden ori calcum. Very well. Yeah, won't bother killing anything, we'll just get these items here. That's it. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. Really, Ignis? Here? You somehow got a new recipe? Here? Fine. If the information we received is correct, the spirit of the ancient CPU should be here. Uh, I don't see anyone. Of course you don't. She has no physical form, new. But then, how will we find Miss Ancient CPU Lady? Maybe she'll spook us if we ask her to show herself and move a chair or something. Yo, Uranus! M maybe a song will lure her out. Oh, Lady Uranus, please appear to us. You're just making a racket. Why would a CPU appear just because you... What is all this commotion? There we go. It actually worked. I guess my comment triggered some kind of appearance flag. Excuse me, are you Uranus? Indeed. I wish you hadn't interrupted my beauty sleep, but this is no time to rest. Indeed. It's unprecedented to see eight CPUs approach me at once. The deity of sin, R4, has been revived. Do you need any more explanation than that? Yes. I see. We were like so close to beating her up, but then we couldn't do anything to hurt her for some reason. We heard that you defeated the deity of sin in the past. Could you show us how? I'm noticing some misunderstandings. First of all, I fought the deity of sin alongside three other CPUs. That seems familiar. However, they lost their lives, meaning they do not even have a spiritual form as I now have. Three CPUs? Gone forever. Even then we could not stop her. Had we truly defeated her, this situation would not be occurring. All we were able to do was weaken her powers enough to seal her away. That was the most we could muster. But if you weakened her, that means you could damage her, right? So, how'd you do that? That is the piece of information we seek above all else. Learning this would mean that you may become like me. Or, you may even lose your lives. I, I don't think we can go through that again. That's fine. Please tell us. An answer without hesitation. You are certainly young and bright-eyed. Very well. Thank you very much. As you know, the Deity of Sin is without form. She is an amalgamation of all negative emotions and desires. Thus, no physical assault will work. One must utilize a form of emotion and desire opposite her own. But if we take away the Deity of Sin, where are all the negative emotions going to go? It's not like they're just going to go to like some other dimension somewhere or anything, are they? What kinds of emotions and desires? Maybe like my desire to eat tons of snacks and fall into a food coma? Is that all we need to win? Maybe. I'd almost feel bad for our enemy if she lost to those desires. Any desire should work, theoretically. It need only be stronger than hers, else her evil will overtake you. As was the case with myself. Is that how you lost your body? Yes. 
You will need to unite your strongest emotions and desires to ensure victory over her own. Our strongest? So for me, that's finding the world's best collection of wifeys! Of course. Eating slabs of steak, new. Singing for a global audience. If that's all, then it's simple. Oh? Protect game industry. Our feelings of wanting to protect the world we love is the strongest desire of all. Only you could say something so cheesy with a straight face. But Gigi is right. Nothing else can beat that feeling. As true as rain, no way could I eat and pass out without a safe game industry to live in. I cannot fathom the terror of losing my ability to play games due to a chaotic world. You're all shockingly honest about your true motivations. Books. <laughs> These are the modern CPUs. Perhaps I would have met a different end had we met back in my age. I, d I do like how Blom was just... Books. Wishful thinking, I suppose. I cannot leave this place, but I will be wishing you the best of luck. Thank you for all your help. Indeed, and I'm sure we'll be talking to you a lot from now on. Magic Bee. Isn't that the last we see of Uranus? I think it is. Right, back to Planet Tune. We'll see what happens here, and then we'll end the part. I am hurrying up and deciding. Jeez. You were able to gain an audience with the ancient CPU? Yes, we did. Now we know where the deity of sin keeps her family jewels, or whatever. I... what? Yeah, I think we can do this now. The power of emotion and desire. Ironic that our most solid chance to win comes from such abstract concepts. Now, now. Faith is also abstract, but it powers the CPUs, no? All of these are vital to our lives. Then we shall go and destroy the deity of sin straight away! Or, so I'd like to say, but... But... The four felons' deadline is only a few days away. I can scarcely say that our timing is fortuitous. Without you all, it will not be possible to protect our nations. Please handle that threat first. You want us to defeat all four of them in a single day? What a pain. No problem, buddy girls. It's basic game design that any returning villains can be destroyed easily. We just have to try our hardest, Neil. We really have to fight them again. I'm so totally gonna make that dumb perp eat his own tongue. Indeed. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Brave. I thought we had come to a mutual understanding. I feel for you, Uni. We will act tomorrow. Rest well tonight. We were just about to, but... I won't be able to sleep in someone else's basilicon. I thought as much, and prepared a special room of ours for you all. I'm certain you will enjoy it. Is this another sleepover? Woohoo! Check out my awesome belly flopping skills! Oh, it's the hot springs, isn't it? Hey! I wanted to jump in first! No running, and no diving, and no swimming laps! Why not? Yikes! The water is so hot! I'm gonna look like a lobster! <laughs> Sorry for the splashings. Why does Red still have her dragon on? Is that the best way to say it? On? Wow. I had no idea you had such a spacious hot spring here. Yes. It's been a while since we were able to put it to use. It's not bad, I guess. It's pretty welcoming. For Planetune. For Planetune? Come on, Neptune! Let's race! <laughs> You're on. Loser buys the other a giant bottle of milk coffee. Ready, go! Hey, I said no swimming laps! Let me scrub your back, blonde. I want it too. Wait until I finish this chapter. Why would you bring a book into a hot spring? To read? Duh! Reading a book while bathing helps to engage one's imagination. Ah, <sighs> this really relieves the stress on my poor back. I can feel it melting away for sure. It, it, it burns a little bit, but it kind 
kind of feels good that way. Maybe I'll do this again. Oh, dear. It's pretty cool to see everyone getting along like this. Everyone loves relaxing, you. Um, Lady Vert, may I? Why, yes. Please feel free to wash me to your heart's content. Whoa! Lady Vert, you're... huge! I can see them bulging out even from behind you! I'm so jealous! <laughs> they have their drawbacks, I assure you. Now that I take a gander at all my wifeys, you're all pretty endowed! I can't lose to any of you! Stop talking about breasts. You sound so immature. Well, of course you'd be the one telling us to stop, Blonde. Uh... Oh... The hell was that? You're as much of a billboard for flatness as I am. Yeah, but I get the last laugh because my HDD form really gives me some hefty memory balloons. Hey, stop ruining the mood. Ugh, this isn't relaxing at all. But Iffy, it's a hot spring scene. You should just let it go and roll with it. Indeed, I've learned to do that myself. It's just like, oh, yep, hot springs, okay. Mainly from Mugen Souls. We're going right back into the thick of things tomorrow, after all. Yeah, I guess I should enjoy the playful banter while I can, huh? Yeah. Right then, this is where we're going to end this part, seeing as we're unlocking all these little dungeons here. And then the next part, what we'll do is go see what we got in the actual city. It's Plantoon, Neembox, and that station. Nothing going on in Louis. And then we'll go off to... Hmm. We'll probably start with Icicle Pathway, then go Infinite Corridor, and then go to Junk Box. So, we'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye for now.